Hi there, this is Ms. Johnson, and um, I believe you are requesting information about how to move forward with the projects. So I'm going to click here on the Lesson 31 Palmetto Events Solutions Project 1, and I'm going to show you how it looks when it first comes up. So I'm an instructor and it may look a little different for me than it looks for you. So for you, you're not going to have a solution file here, but you will have an instructions file and you'll have um, a blank document. So first of all, you should click on the instructions file. It should populate and say at the bottom of your screen, if you're in um, Chrome, sorry, you can enable that. I have two screens, so I'm going to drag it back over here so it'll be in your view. So this is the instructions document. My screen's very large, and so you can see two pages versus just one. So this are, these are the instructions, and you can see that they tell you how to label the document, which is the other document that you'll download and I'll show you in a moment. Um, they show you kind of step by step. This is page one and then step by step number one tap enter three times and key the document below and so you just start doc start following the instructions. If you go to the bottom of any one of the instruction documents for the projects you will see um, they don't show it to you with the codes turned on, obviously, because they don't want to give you all the answers, but they do show you what a final uh, document should look like when you're finished. So if you followed the instructions, then your end document, when you're finished saving it, should look like this document. A few things I would always bear in mind. First of all, I, if I were a student, would always work with the codes turned on. I know it seems annoying, but it's much easier to follow instructions when your codes are turned on. When it says tap three times to enter, you'll be able to see if three times worked because you'll see three of these, two, three. That would be tapping three times. So just a, a little bit of advice. Um, if you choose not to work with your codes turned on, I think that you'll have a bigger chance for errors. So um, that's how it looks when you're opening up an instruction document. I'm going to close this now and then click the other document which automatically tries to give it a name and again, I have a two screens, so I'm going to drag it back over so you can see it. And you're going to need to go in and make sure that it's got your name in here versus this name. And then you're going to do step-by-step -step instructions. So if you have two screens and you can put your instructions on one screen and read them and then follow them on this blank document, um, that would be one way to do it. If not, if you have access to a printer, you could print out the instructions. I do think it's going to be a little bit tedious to just keep it all on one screen and, and try to alt tab back and forth. Uh, that works, but I do think it's um, uh, it gets confusing. So so yes, the blank document is is you starting each of these projects from scratch and your end document will look like the one that's at the bottom of the instructions. All right, if you have any other questions, please uh, don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email.